YouTube, what up and welcome back to the channel. My name is Antonio Wang and if this is your first time here, I welcome you as I speak about my personal style, give you a few tips here and there, but overall I just want to have fun with it. Now around this time last year, I made a designer pickups video and I thought it was only right to give you guys an updated 2021 designer pickups video, so check this out. Now this first piece needs no introduction because it's been featured in several videos of mine already and I'm sure you've seen it. This is my Raph Simmons long denim overshirt from the autumn winter 2020 2021 collection and what a piece it was because i did get this on sale for maybe about 30 percent off on essence shout out to them love the graphic on the back super long so you got uh you know the trenchy silhouette love this piece i've worn the shit out of it i think i've spilled some alcohol on it already uh shame on me but it definitely adds character so yeah raf simmons denim long overshirt uh, love this piece and this is never leaving the coat rack and as for the next piece this one was a late pickup late last year and i definitely wanted to save it for the spring summer was able to get a few wears out of it already maybe less than 10 but more than five but anyway let's just say that this this shirt from lueve is amazing it is the paisley print bandana shirt the asymmetrical paisley print bandana shirt uh, as seen on ASAP Rocky from uh, the Spring Summer 19 collection from Lueve. And what a beautiful shirt it is because not only do you have the patchwork aesthetic, you do also have the asymmetrical look. So it does look a bit unorthodox at times. I love this shirt, man. It's, it's a great shirt because I can just leave it open, wear it with a tank top, or I can close it up and, you know, just wear it like a regular, Wearing it like a regular shirt would definitely be an understatement. But anyway, and now the next piece is one of my favorites because it's definitely not in your face and you can't even tell that it's a designer shirt. So I love the subtlety, but it is a cotton blend, cotton blended with silk Hyder Ackerman kimono shirt. Now this is a very special piece to me because it's my first Hyder piece. And um, you know, the fit is amazing. It's like a boxy, um, not so cropped, but it's, you know, there's a slight crop here at the bottom of the shirt. And I love the fact that the front plackets uh, hide or cover the, the buttons along the shirt. So it's a very nice, clean, minimal look with a dash of color. And this is like some Tiffany or Aquamarine uh, feature along here on the bottom. And as I did mention before, it is a cotton blend with a hint of silk. So very silky, sits on the body very well and it's just it's flowy and you know i honestly did buy this just for like the spring summer and i also wanted to get out of my comfort zone as i don't wear too many short sleeve shirts you know i i don't know what it is i i never liked it but i'm a changed man now changed man 2021 you know you gotta try new things i was able to get this shirt on farfetch for about half price of what it retailed for so Super cool pickup, man. Yeah, super dope pickup, and don't think this will be leaving the collection either. Definitely here to stay. Now for the next piece, it, it's going out of order as I usually like to go top to bottom with my recent pickups, but I wanted to save the best for last, and this is definitely not the last piece, although it is my second favorite pickup. Very special. The highly, highly grail, well, this is one of my grail shoes, and it is the Visvum Funboy 3 Lamo Folk, and the uh, brown suede and this shoe oh my god it is phenomenal because if you guys don't know the story of, of how uh, Hiroki Nakamura you know designed the shoe it's, go ahead and read it because it's awesome it's it's just such a dope inspiration now uh, I chose this shoe because you know I saw Kanye wear it like 10 ish years ago obviously couldn't afford it Still can't afford it, but I decided to pull the trigger anyway. And uh, yeah, this is this is such a great shoe. It's, it's timeless for me. And I've worn them about maybe five times and they're extremely comfortable uh, because they do feature a Vibram, Vibram, Vibram. How do you guys say it? Let me know in the comments below because that shit's hella confusing. I'm not sure if this is deer skin leather that they used. You know, I, I'm not quite sure, but the, the suede is, is super soft, supple to the touch, uh, not extremely hairy. And, you know, in terms of like the width, it's perfect. 
if you have a super wide foot, I don't know if this will be the shoe. But anyway, um, you know, I've racked in some miles on these already as I do like to take like walks on my lunch breaks. And um, yeah, with, with the Vibram Vibram sole, super comfortable. How could you not pair this with anything? These were awesome. I found these on eBay. I ended up haggling for these, but I think, well, I know I got them at a great price. Now this piece here, in all of its plasticky goodness. And if you haven't watched my leather pants video, this sweater was also featured, but this is the masterpiece. This is crazy, okay? But <laughs> I'm trying to think of different ways how I can introduce this, like a, like a boxing fighter to the ring. But you know what? I don't think it needs a big introduction because this is the Raph Simmons Archive Redux sweater um, that released, I think it was last month, in February in select retailers. Some people got it backdoored because they got the plug, I didn't. But luckily, uh, my plug was Essence because it still had it on, in stock on the site and I said I wasn't gonna sleep. Now, for those of you that don't know, this sweater originally released in his Fall Winter 16 collection where there was another sweater that was blue almost identical to this one with a different letter on it. I remember when I looked at fashion heads when I was a normie, when I was a fashion normie, still think I'm a bit of a normie, but anyway, I would question, why are we buying ripped clothes? And now everything comes full circle because this is fucked up. I got a few holes here, but it's all good. Um, and, and for those of you that don't know, this is not used. This is not a used item. This is how the item was designed. So yeah, I think with this, it's also gonna be an investment piece because if I do decide to sell this later down the line, uh, there's definitely a market for them because you know finding the OG piece is gonna cost you around five grand. I only paid half of that with this, uh, this sweater, brand new from Essence. So um, yeah, this is awesome. This is, this is the sweater of the year and I don't think I'm going to be getting any more sweaters like this for a very long time. All right, if you happen to like all the pit recent pickups that I've made, be sure to leave a big like for the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe because your boy is trying to grow the channel. We are approaching 300 subscribers. May not be a lot, you know, and may not be a lot of subscribers, but to me it's it means a bunch and uh you know, next milestone we're aiming for is gonna be 500, then 1,000, and then we'll just see where everything goes from there. But anyway, be sure to subscribe. Now, uh, definitely wanna thank you guys for sticking around till the end of the video, and if you've made it this far, I appreciate you, and I'll definitely see you on the next one. And as always, I'm here to help you look good, feel great, and dress well, and I'm out.